Swedish Egyptian filmmaker Tarek Saleh has premiered his latest film, Boy from Heaven, at the 75th Cannes International Film Festival. The political thriller is set in a prestigious religious university in Cairo, renowned for its Islamic teaching. But on the first day back after the summer holidays, the Grand Imam collapses and dies in front of his students. A ruthless battle for influence between conflicting ideologies ensues. I'm like a messenger, you know, because I live, I'm Swedish and I'm Egyptian. And I am, my mother is Protestant, my father is Muslim. So I am a messenger and I tell you, you know, basically human beings are aspiring to the same things all over the world. They want something better for their children. So I think that the message is, what did you learn? You learned something new. You didn't know this place existed. It's the most important place in Sunni Islam, and you didn't know it existed before you saw this film. That's strange. Islam is in the news every day. Why didn't you know it existed? Boy From Heaven is Salah's second film to delve into the underbelly of modern Egypt, following his 2017 political thriller, The Nile Hilton Incident, which depicts political power abuse and police corruption. Nile Hilton won the Grand Jury Prize at Sundance, but was banned in Egypt. I think there will be two truths. You know, I think it will be an official truth. They can choose there if they pretend the film doesn't exist or they attack it as an attack on Egypt. But then there will be an unofficial truth. With uh, the Nile Hilton incident, my last film that was banned in Egypt, I received so many fan mails from Egyptian police officers that love the film. You know, they love the film because they're like, wow, yeah, it's a cool movie about us, you know, and they know it's true. You know, because corruption is everywhere. I mean, it's open in the streets. You see police officers taking money when, you know, you're, you know, everywhere. Salah said when he heard the film was nominated for the Palme d'Or, he started screaming in the middle of a square. And the reaction of the people potentially being afraid of a man with Egyptian heritage screaming loudly ties in with the content of his film and the portrayal of Muslims around the globe. Hello, <laughs> 